uh, we have a lot of spiritual seekers who watch this uh, mm -hmm. channel regularly and uh, this Light of Knowledge program. Uh, for someone who is just starting out on this path, uh, what would your uh, message or your suggestions be for them? I think what is most important, to listen everything with open mind. Okay. Because sometimes whatever we have read or we have heard, we are very preconditioned. Mm -hmm. So when we listen to certain principles, certain spiritual understanding, then our interpretation is really coming from my what I believed and what I... But what I feel is very important that whatever I have is valuable, whatever I have read, that's fine. But what is important at this time is really for me to understand the message in a right way. Okay. You know, like I give example that one of the, our first basic principle mm -hmm. and understanding about who am I. So I will simply say that body and I am soul, I am right. soul in the body. So first opinion people will say, oh, we have heard about it. We also know mm -hmm. it's written in Gita. You know, so what happened, they start missing that that time which awakening is happening, mm -hmm. the time when enlightenment is happening, they are blocking through their intellect. Okay. Rather, they should say, okay, I have heard about soul. I have read about soul, but I have never thought that I am soul. Mm -hmm. You know, so right. when you listen properly, then you will be able to understand and understanding will help you to practice okay. and have good experience also. And okay. that experience is really which becomes part of you or your own strength and your own power. Right. Um, in terms of uh, connecting with the Supreme Soul, a lot of people find it difficult because <laughs> partially they don't have the introduction, maybe the right introduction. But um, with so many faiths out there and different cults and different cultures, how do we establish that right connection with the Supreme? <laughs> I think that any time you want to have any connection of any kind, you need to understand something, whether it's electric connection or any kind of connection. So in the same way, it's a very simple thing. I feel it's very easy to connect, but first you have to understand the relationship, mm -hmm. because it's a human connection. What I'm saying is a lively connection. It's not connecting two wires. No. So if there is this understanding of who am I and whom I am connecting to. Mm -hmm. So when I'm saying soul, then eternally if I am soul, and then I look at you that you are soul, then who is supreme and who is our parents? Mm -hmm. And who is one who bestows upon us mm -hmm. love and peace? So thinking in the same way, like when I heard this, I thought, if I am soul, then he is also a soul, mm -hmm. but he is supreme soul. Mm -hmm. But if I understand what the soul is like, mm -hmm. its energy, its light, and it has mind intellect, then I connect, becomes very, very easy. So just think about human connection. Like I met you today, I hadn't seen you before. Right. And when I have now seen you, anytime your name will come up or in my mind, I will get connected with you. And you will get thought too. Right. So if human connection can happen by seeing and knowing, the same connection happen with God. But connection word seems to be a bit heavy too. So we, I always say that relationship, you think of, that God is my parents, mm -hmm. or God is my teacher, or God is my friend. Mm -hmm. So that relationship can also help okay. to have feel that connection. Okay. Uh, many of us uh, in the initial stages experience a kind of fear when it comes mm -hmm. to God. Um, what would you say to allay that fear? God is loving. Mm -hmm. God is ocean of love. We all belong to God, and if we are His children, He has to love us. Mm -hmm. There is no fear. Mm -hmm. But because they had been hearing that if you do something wrong, if you do this, God will punish you. So God had been seen always an image of punishment, like mm -hmm. He's going to. That's so from childhood, you know, sometimes we are told about God. Mm -hmm. But I feel that actually God is the being of love. Mm -hmm. And it's God's love that we are in existence here mm -hmm. today. My life is from God's love. So actually, I feel that image of God's love should always be in front of us. Okay. Um, you know, there are also uh, certain teachings or even Raj Yoga, if I'm not mistaken, 
talks about, um, you know, reaching that level of the supreme soul. <laughs> and uh, to a beginner, that's a very daunting task. Um, uh, because as we know, I mean, it's a supernatural power. Um, mm -hmm. So how do we even fathom this concept? I think that it's, it's something very simple, you know, it, a child like father and father like child, you know. So originally, each one of us began from that stage of perfection, from stage where there was godliness in us, there was divinity in us, we were full of love and peace. But then gradually, coming into this cycle of birth, rebirth, we accumulated and acquired a lot of external traits in us and a lot of qualities in us. And just realizing it's not in a day you can be that, mm. but you start reclaiming it little by little okay. that I can be peaceful, I can be loveful, I can be more in place. And even for a few minutes, then it can increase, it can, and gradually you find that the personality of yours, that you start feeling little divine and godly within, and then you grow with that and it reaches to full extent, you know. I can imagine that it's a little bit like, how can it be? Right. But it's very simple. You know, it's very simple to understand. It's the same energy, but we have declined and we have lost. And mm -hmm. now we are reclaiming it. And gradually, one really becomes like that.